Hey, Royal Family. Yes, Mrs. O is back. I couldn't do a live today because uh, I'm really tired. I'm really, really wore out. But I promise I'd upload a video this week. So we're going to start with something simple. And then we'll progress to uh, something uh, really wow factor for your holiday table. And I'm going to attempt to make a Chantilly cake. It's pretty uh, intense, but I'm going to uh, practice it first before I bring it to you guys. But anyway, today we're going to do a cranberry vodka martini. Very simple, very easy, and it tastes so delicious. All right, let's get started with the ingredients. You know, I don't buy big bottles of vodka, so I just, uh, so this is a gallon vodka that I'm using. This is Grand Gala. It is an orange liqueur that we're going to use. And of course, I have the pom pom, pomegranate juice, 100%. And we're going to use ginger ale. Yes, it is that simple. And I also have a shot glass to where we're going to try to control the liquor. But, you know, if you want to do two shot glasses, okay, light it up. So first, let me get some ice. This is in my, um, I guess your cocktail shaker so let me put some ice in here and i'll be right back right back are you guys getting ready for thanksgiving or are you getting ready for christmas i hope to do a christmas tour with you guys i've been really busy so i'm just now trying to um start doing christmas stuff okay so i put about I'm gonna say eight cubes of ice in here. So what we're going to do, we're going to start with the vodka first. Now, as I said, if you want a strong one, go ahead and make uh, two shots. But I'm just going to do, I'll do one full glass, all right? There's the vodka. Let me pull that in. Yeah, that might be a lot right there. Okay. Another shot glass of the orange liqueur. So let's go ahead and put this in here. And this would be wonderful for Thanksgiving or Christmas. All right. That is the orange liqueur. Let's put that in there. I guess I could be showing you guys. Okay, let me scoot it back. Okay, that is the orange liqueur. And I have just the tip of a lemon that we're going to squeeze in. Okay. And I want two shots of this pomegranate juice. Let me kind of shake it up here. I really appreciate all of my new subscribers. I mean, my channel is growing like crazy. And soon I will reveal to you guys my numbers. I am so excited. Even though I really haven't been a, a consistent host because I've been doing so much. And I really thank God for Queen of Scones because when I tell you, okay, here is one shot glass of the pomegranate juice it is growing i mean i have people calling me from out of state to literally ship scones okay here's the other shot glass and i mean i filled it up now the ginger ale i'm gonna be honest i don't really let's say i'm gonna put a let's say a cup of the ginger ale so let's go ahead and let's just say a cup. So 
so that is about a cup now I got to show you the wow factor of uh, this pomegranate vodka cocktail. All right, let's put this on. And we're going to shake it, shake it, baby, all right? Let's give it a, re a really good shake. And you know something? <laughs> Take that back, the shake. Because when I shook it, <laughs> the ginger ale was kind of spewing out. So, we are going to fix that. I have a long cocktail spoon. And we're going to just stir it. All right. Now, let's stir it. So, don't shake because that ginger ale reacts. Okay. And you guys, these cocktail spoons really, really come in handy if you're one for doing cocktails. All right. Now let me show you my glass, which you know Mrs. O is all about. Presentation. You guys ready to see these? Look at this. Are we talking gorgeous or what? These are my martini glasses. And how festive it's going to look with the cranberry vodka cocktail. All right, let me make sure I have this on tight. Let's put this here and we're going to pour it in. Beautiful or what? You see that? Now let's do the other one. Let's go ahead and pour this in. Is this beautiful or what? And of course, now we have to tell them the type of cocktail, okay? So... I bought a pomegranate and I deceded it. These seeds are so good. I had froze them. Hopefully they're still cold because I found out if you don't freeze them, they'll all sink to the bottom. But let's see how this works out. So I'm going to take a few with this spoon and whatever else I don't use, I'm going to eat them. All right, here are the pomegranate seeds. And let's just put it in here. I want you to really see a good picture of this. Hold on. So you can really see how beautiful it is. I would advise to go ahead and keep them frozen. I took it out and it kind of defrosts, but when you freeze them, they literally float to the top, but you can see them down there. And is this glass beautiful or what? I'll say we're going to do, um, let's give us, since we have a little lemon juice, let's, uh, let's zest. Just a All right, <laughs> one more time, you guys. It keeps cutting me off. This is the finished product of the pomegranate vodka cocktails with pomegranate seeds. Again, please freeze your pomegranates and they will float to the top beautifully which I let mine uh, thaw out, and you see they're kinda in the bottom. And also, I wanna tell you guys right, when you're doing a martini, please do not fill the glass all the way up for martini. 
The proper way is half full for a martini. God bless you. Thank you guys for watching. And thank you guys for staying with me. I really appreciate that. Please share, comment, and subscribe. And I promise you, I will be back with another awesome video. This should get you started for now. God bless you.